from Ornella Padon, welcome to Brindiamo, the only show about Italian restaurants. Today I'm on Walnut and 16th Street to meet Al, owner of the restaurant Il Portico. Follow me. Philadelphia is a lovely city, a city where you can stroll around the beautiful street, visit elegant stores, go to the theater and dine at great restaurants. Of course, because Brindiamo is all about Italian restaurants, I'm searching for the finest Italian restaurant in the city. And today, I'm at Walnut Street in the heart of Philadelphia to meet Mr. Di Bella, owner and chef of Ristorante Il Portico. Il Portico restaurant is elegant and classy, and the food is delicious. But what I loved the most was the open personality of Aldi Bella and the atmosphere that his staff creates every day. Okay, I'm here sitting, finally sitting in a cool place with Alberto del Bello, which means of the beautiful, just like your restaurant. That's right. Come stai? Just like you, man, man. <laughs> Bene, grazie. Allora, we had great, great dishes in your kitchen. You are absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Now I want to know why you are so good. <laughs> well, it's my dedication to uh, what I do. You know, it could be anything. Even as, even as a young man, I was instilled a work ethic mm -hmm. by my parents, by Paolo Latanzi, by Maramania, you know, all the great people that Taught had a so hand much, in, yeah. Yeah, in raising me. of Il Portico Ristorante in compagnia of Alberto Del Bello. Come stai? Piacere. Piacere, piacere. <laughs> Finalmente, we are still here in Philadelphia at this great Italian restaurant and we're going to prepare a great recipe, of That's course. Right. Right? That's right. Okay, so as antipasto, we're going to have involtini di mozzarella. Come si chiamano? In mozzarella. Ah, I sì. said the right things. Yeah. First, you need a uh, curd of mozzarella. Okay. And then you need some hot water, prosciutto, and breading if you need to, you know, you know how to bread it. Yes. Uh, so we start with the hot water. Okay. You must throw some salt in there. Okay. So you have to let it sit there for, you know, a few minutes. Okay. Depending on the uh, the ratio of mozzarella, the cheese, and the water. Okay. You can't have too much water. Uh, for a little bit of cheese or too little cheese and a, a lot of water. You wait for it to melt a little bit and, and the water has to be boiling. You know, yeah. you, you have to take it off and stir it. We're gonna drain the water. Okay. And you oh, work I that. Love that. Are you going to make bocconcini? Bocconcini. And then throw that in ice water ice so water. it maintains its texture. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the process of making a mozzarella. Then you have to have some parma prosciutto. Okay, of course. And you wrap that into... It looks so cute. All around it. Mm-hmm. And then shape like this. The next step is breading it. Okay. It's flour, egg wash, and bread, plain bread crumbs. Mm-hmm. One of butter. Okay. And this pan goes in the oven. Okay, that sounds good. So this is uh, is practically this mozzarella right. with the bread. With the breading. Okay. Maybe just a little black, black pepper. pepper. Okay. And uh, it goes in the oven. Okay. All right. Perfecto. It goes in there at a 500 degree preheated oven for about two minutes. We'll take this out of the oven after about three minutes. Very hot. Right. And add a little chopped garlic. Okay. Add a little. What is that? Uh, chopped anchovies. Oh, an and the sugar. Yeah. And open this up. Round that a little bit. Yes. And you add a little veal stock. Mm -hmm. And some mushrooms, which I already have, which we use in the Tuscan cuisine a lot. Yes. A little mushroom. Let it simmer for another minute or two. And then we'll dish it. Uh, we, can, we can serve that. This is a great appetizer. Yes, it a looks great. Great mixture of uh, anchovy sauce. And there's only enough sauce in there to go on. Uh huh. And we 
a little green. Okay, so uh, as antipasto, we have this great dish. I'm uh, going to see you soon with uh, uh, fettuccine o capellini. Capellini e langostine. See you later. Ciao. I have to say that every day I meet extraordinary people that had the courage to leave their hometown to find success in a foreign country. And one of these special persons is a friend of Al and me, and his name is Paolo Lattanzi. I'm sure that many of my viewers had the opportunity to learn about Paolo Lattanzi. He is this extraordinary person that came to America at a very young age and started an incredibly successful business. But that is not the only extraordinary fact. Many Italians have done this. Paolo does more. He has helped many other young people to become successful in this industry as well. Well, as a young man, uh, I was taken uh, under Paolo's wing. Mm -hmm. And he got my attention. I was a motorcyclist and a rebel. Really? Yes, and uh, <laughs> what a sophisticated one. <laughs> but yeah, it's still the rebel. Uh, and picked up all the, uh, you know, good work ethic and uh, perfectionist attitude uh, and all the great cuisine and recipes uh, in New York and you know uh, I decided to move to Philadelphia in 1988. 1988 so there are quite a few years and now you've been here you were very young when you opened your first was, restaurant uh, right? 26 years old. 26 years old wow so you did learn a lot. Huh? Yes. When Paolo heard that we were producing Brindiamo in Philadelphia, it was very natural for him to suggest that we visit Il Portico. And it was very natural for Al to open the door of his restaurant as well. Anything for Paolo, Al said. He is my mentor. I learned everything from him and will always be very grateful for that. I'm still here in the kitchen of uh, Il Portico and I love, I love these things. They are so good. I'm still with Alberto Del Bello. We're going to make this primo piatto. Yep. Okay, so you already prepared the pan with the hot oil. Hot oil. And uh, you cook and I eat, it's fine with me. Oh. And a little garlic. When it gets a little golden, you put in the uh, langoustine. You're gonna add a little white wine. A little marinara sauce, just a touch, Ooh. not a lot. And we're gonna add some salt and some red pepper and fino. A little bit of fish stock. Fish stock, of course. We're gonna let it simmer. If you can cover it, it doesn't take long. We're gonna raise the heat, get the capellini, throw the capellini in the water, and and time them both. It's very important okay. that you time your. Uh, uh, fini piatti and the pasta at the same time, that's what you're gonna, if it's going to have pasta. I prefer to throw in the, uh, with cappellini uh -huh. in particular, you, you put in the uh, strainer first and then yes. the pasta. Because if you put the pasta first, it has a tendency to go right through yes, uh, and right. then get stuck. Yeah. So <laughs> this is where it goes. Okay. okay. And make sure the whole thing simmers. Mm -hmm. It will start to uh, soften up within 30 seconds. Oh, wow. And then it'll take another couple of minutes. To cook. Right. Yes. Okay. And how's the langostina? Are they nice. doing okay? Langostina is doing well. Thank if you. you cover them with another skillet, okay. you don't need to turn them. I see. Okay? Just make sure that they're not overlapping. Because they yes. overlap. See this here? This is yeah, not cooking. Yeah, that doesn't cook they're because, not, of yeah. course. Okay. It's not getting the... Uh, little tricks, I'll Little guess, tricks uh, of the tray. Exactly. And then if it, it's getting too dry, you got to turn it down. Mm-hmm. It's perfectly done. Now going back to the pasta, you must stir the pasta. Capellini does not take too long. Here's what we do. The same pan that was covering yes. the, uh, the langostine. langostine, we're going to lift it up. And since I'm lefty, so I can only do it this way. Okay. Now the pasta goes in here. Mm -hmm. If you throw pasta in there, it'll be a big mush. Yeah, you're you right. know. <laughs> we don't want a big mush. I like to throw in a little basil on parsley. Uh huh. That's so this is a mix. Mamma mia, uh, Mamma mia, yeah, so. Yeah, Mamma mia, touch. You know, that's who taught me 
How to cook? Yes. <laughs> so, well, these are all family recipes. Yes, so we drain yeah. all the water out of the pasta and put the cappellini in here. So you didn't take too long. No, absolutely not. Okay, and now I'm going to toss it so it picks up all the flavor. Look at that. It's perfect. Make sure your dish is pretty, you know? Yeah. Give it a little height, give it mm -hmm. some depth, a little color. And this is what you call quality food, not quantity. Absolutely. They're so flavorful mm. and beautiful. And now I really need a fork because I cannot resist. I love this dish. Here we go. It's very hot, it's right? Hot. We I know. really cook it. Okay, buon appetito. Mmm, buonissimo. Bravo. Thank you. I must say that Paolo was right. Mr. Di Bella learned very well il suo mestiere, and after many years of work with the Latanzi family that he considers his own family, Alberto Di Bello is running not one but three great Italian restaurants. Il Portico, Tiramisu and Il Tartufo. After so many years of experience at Paper Moon, Erminia, Tevere and Vabene, I was ready to start my own show, Al said. So I decided to move to Philadelphia and follow my heart. And so you've been in Erminia? Armenia, Latanzi, Latanzi. Tevere 83, Tevere 84, okay. albero, uh, the, the opening of l'Albero d'Oro. Okay. Many, many, many. Years. Many, many, many <laughs> restaurants, exactly. So, and then uh, you decided to bring a little bit of the good uh, Italian cuisine, of the Latanzi good Italian cuisine here in Philadelphia. Well, Which I one opened was first, your first? Was the 19, uh, I believe 89 or 90, uh, was Tiramisu. Okay, Tiramisu. The Society Hill. Did you make tiramisu in that restaurant? Oh, yeah. Well, I got so good at it when I was, uh, when Paolo was teaching me. Uh, yes. That I said, you know, uh, people used to come in and ask for tiramisu. I said, you know, Paolo opened a restaurant, the first one was really Oh, really? Tiramisu. That's the story of the yeah, name the of your restaurant. Then we opened this one back in 1995. The name Il Portico de Ottavia is the Jewish ghetto phone. Yes, uh, in Rome. Uh, it it would have been too long. Yes, absolutely. So we kept in Portico. We yeah. have another one in a uh, very beautiful section of Philadelphia. It's called Il Tartufo. Il Tartufo. Well, Are you I cooking a, a lot of Tartufo? Oh, yeah. And just like Paolo, I involved all my family in this adventure. I'm very happy to do a job that gives me and my family great satisfaction. moment that everybody has been waiting for, right? Me cooking. This is going to be fun. This dish is on the menu. It's called the Orata Latanzi. Latanzi because we're going to honor them, right? That's right. Here we That's go. Right. That's right. So, uh, ingredient. We ingredient. have uh, the well, seasoning, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, onion, onion white onion, salvia, pine, right. uh, pine nuts and raisins, okay, two bay leaves, and red snapper. Of course, we have to Warm up the pan and put some oil. Some oil in there. And then? Then you're going to put some onions in there. Okay. Be careful, the oil is hot. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> How much do we have to put it? Yeah, help me up. Because I'm already burning. <laughs> burning. Okay. Okay, you brown the onions a little bit. bit. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. a trick you play. Don't worry, I did sign a contract <laughs> with the building. <laughs> Eventually, if everything goes to be mm. in fire. Okay. Okay, you brown that. Okay. Then you make a little space for your fish. Oh, So okay. it doesn't get under your fish. So do I have to season first no. the fish? No, no, not no. necessarily. Okay. You, you place one here. Put the like other it? one too? Yeah, put them on. Be careful. Okay, I will. Here we okay. go. Okay. Well, I try to keep yes, all the uh, fish on top. Ooh. So when we serve, we won't break the fish. I see. No. Kind of first, okay. Be a little generous. Oh yes, let's be generous to why not. Now we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Okay. Vinegar. Okay. okay. White wine vinegar. Just so a touch. Have a fire. No. No. And we can cut this off. No fire. Okay. Then we add a little fish stock. Fish stock. And. We need, need to let it simmer. Okay. Okay. For another, I would say, five to ten minutes. Okay. Okay. High heat, five minutes. Low heat, ten minutes. And that's all. And that's it. it. Now I put it. When we come back, 
What are we going to do? We will dish it. it. We'll dish it. <laughs> I think it's ready, right? Okay. Here's what I need you to do. You need to take out the bay leaf. Okay. With, with your tool that you just dropped. Okay. <laughs> Use it, Ornella. You right. have it. Just use it, okay? All Where should right. I put it? Over here? there, right? Okay. Take that because off. Now, yes. there's nothing in there okay. that you need to pull out. All you do is just serve. You prepared already some, some grilled vegetables. Vegetables, okay. It's a grilled radicchio, eggplant, yellow, yellow and, green and green zucchini. Now, yes. see the thick side of the plate yes. goes right here. Oh, okay, I so see. There you go. Uh, fish does not take too long to cook. No. We're going to collect the sauce. Look at those beautiful raisins and pine nuts. I know. It's an old, old Jewish dish from the ghetto of uh, Jewish ghetto of Rome, Il Portico del Target. Okay, now we're going to eat, actually, because uh, I almost made it. Uh, he didn't trust me completely. <laughs> so, okay. No, you did fine. Mm. You did fine. Che buono! Che meraviglia! Mm. Devo provare un po' di pinoli e un po' ups <ride> ecco qua buono, sei proprio bravo Alberto sì. grazie prego, prego questa era l'orata alla Lattanzi <ride> the tribute a to tribute. Lattanzi family <ride> all over the world dopo. exactly, see you tribute to mamma <ride> and Paolo while I was sitting and writing some of my thoughts about the restaurant a very young man brought to me and my crew some warm and delicious focaccia I noticed the kindness of this young waiter, but I did not know he was the son of Alberto. So I took the chance to chat with him to know more about Al and his business. Now I'm going to meet John. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good, thank you. So you are the son of Al. Is yeah. that true? Yes. <laughs> how that can be possible? He's so young and you yep. have already such a handsome man. No. So how long have you been working here? Uh, ever since I was 16. 16? Yep. I've been eight years in the business. Wow, already. Yes. And how do you like to work with Daddy? Oh, I love it. It's you one. love it? He's right there. We have yes, to say love it. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best, one day, best experience I ever had. Oh, that's in great. Business. You're very kind. I mean, I didn't know you were our son, but as soon as <laughs> I walk in, he greets me and he yeah. offers this great. I said, you know, I saw this great focaccia on the table. And you said, sure, <laughs> I'm going to bring to you. And I didn't know anything. So it's really, really nice. Okay, now you have to go to work. That's a meal. I think you actually, I want to ask you, you studied to be in the dining room, right? You went in a special school. Yes, I went to Johnson & Wales. Okay. Now, after, right after Johnson & Wales, I came over here and started working with my father. That's great. Right. Okay, so I'll see you. Thank you very much for being here. Right. And Thank uh, you. Talk to you later. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. I also met Al's brother. He studied to become a pastry chef, and his desserts are as good as they look. He was a little nervous, but with a good martini, he told me anything I wanted to know about him and his adventure with Al. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank good. you. So, thank still you. at Il Portico, here in yes. Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. So, you've been in this business for many years because you've been involved in this business with your family. Yes, Is that correct? with my brother. Okay, so, and you went to college? I went to Johnson Wales University okay. in Providence. I graduated from uh, um, 98. Okay. In 98, and we started Il Tartufo. Il Tartufo. It's on Main Street, Maniac, in Philadelphia. And, and that's where you are. You are the star in that place, right? That's where I am. <laughs> but you're still coming here at the But I Portico. still go around Il Portico and Tiramisu. Okay. Yes. And uh, what do you? Why do you love so much working with your brother? He's a. He's a good Very, person. very good man and a great brother. Yes. And I love the way he runs business. So and what did I you learn from, from him? Tell me I, one he, thing. He so. basically, I learned basic uh, education in college, but practical, he taught me everything. He taught you everything, yes. right? Uh, yes. So what's the aspect of this business that you love the most? Uh? I love cooking. Cooking. And I, I was uh, very young when I saw my brother cooking and doing all these shows and I just got passion for cooking. And you prepared a beautiful dish before for us. We were having something in the kitchen and you were decorating because yes. that's your passion. Zabaglione. Lo zabaglione con yes. le fragole. fragole. So delicious. I ate practically all. And uh, so you're running from this place to the other place practically every day. Every and day. Uh, your goal is? Uh, My goal is to own a restaurant uh, one day. 
Italian restaurants? Absolutely, Absolutely Italian restaurant. of Nothing course. Nothing but Italian restaurants. So now it's time to brindiamo with uh, uh, Danny, Danny Marino. Danny Marino. Daniele, did you make these delicious I'm things? Sure did. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Thank you very much. So, brindiamo, grazie, to Salute. the finest Italian restaurant. Ciao. Yeah. I always love wandering around the restaurant when nobody's there. I enjoy discovering little details that you may never notice when the restaurant is full of clients. And then with Alberto I did a little tour of the restaurant and he showed me the lovely room upstairs where he has some very exclusive parties. The chandelier are just favolosi, they are from Venice, I'll said, and they range between 6 feet and 11 feet of length. At the end of the day, I visit Al in his office, and he was wearing his favorite black hat. We always like to close in dolcezza and in bellezza, giusto Alberto? Giusto. So we're going to make this zabaglione? Zabaglione con fragole, egg yolks, about six of them. Okay. And that would serve about two to four, and some sugar. A lot of sugar. No, well, it's up to you. <laughs> some sugar, but okay. you cover the yolks with sugar, and some marsala wine. Uh-huh. I don't normally measure it, but no, because Italians, we go by we go. instinct, right? right? We don't need right. to do that. We don't measure things. <laughs> now, we go over here, okay. we have some boiling here, water. Here Make sure your bowl fits oh, the boiling okay. water. And you so you don't have to, to hold it, you right? To, yeah, if you hold it, if you must hold it, this is how you hold it. This, so there's okay. fire underneath. Sure. And you continue to stir, and stir, and stir. And stir again. Right. <laughs> and we start to foam up. A little bit. Uh huh. So when did you know that it's ready? Well, when it's thickened up, when you can write your name in it. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. See, I was, you know, thickening up, and it goes great with the uh, raspberries, strawberries, uh -huh. blueberries, whatever is available. So what are we going to put it today? We're going to do strawberries. Strawberry. Yeah. Fragole. Yeah, strawberry with zabaglione. Zabaglione alle fragole. Mmm. Sounds delicious. So you say that actually your brother went to a special school. Yeah, he went to Johnson school. Wales. Okay. So my son went to Johnson Wales also. So they he can help it. you to put everybody to work, yeah, right? Yeah, he's in the dining room, yes. <laughs> with the tuxedo. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like to work in the so. kitchen. Throw the strawberries in there. How? Nicely? Not just like that? Oh, so. you can be a chef. I can be crazy. You're on TV, well. so... Uh, you Why not? Be, uh, you can be a princess. Be Yes. One by one. I, here we go. How uh, much? And, and I will be Shrek. <laughs> you see, I didn't know how. Okay. <laughs> I was so delicate. Mm -hmm. okay, that much air go. time. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Uh, Ooh. This is so good. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, I am. I'm definitely be careful. ready. It's hot. It's going to be the hot. Contrast well, can, of you can warm. chill it also. Yes. We can definitely chill that. Yeah, you can and put mix it, in the it with other whipped cream if you want to. If it's too um, too strong, okay. You can mix that with whipped cream, but it has to be chilled. But I like it hot. Me too. Mmm. And the touch of liquor too. Yeah, we've got that masala mm. wine. Now don't forget, alcohol evaporates when you cook it, so we cannot get drunk on this. No. No, are you sure? <laughs> so, it was wonderful, thank you. I love your kitchen. It's beautiful, it's neat, it's clean, it's efficient. So, and I'll see you around to discover your other restaurant. Yes, Ciao. thank you. There is always so much to learn when I go behind the scene of a restaurant, meaning in the kitchen. I can tell that Al's world is the kitchen. He's moving a comfortable between the pots and the pans and he knows how to prepare delicious food for his clients. It was fun to assist Alberto in little chores, but it was even better to test all his specialties. So I spent another fine day in Philadelphia, discovering a great Italian restaurant and the people behind them. I'm sure that just like me, you will find a perfect spot for your special night. Alberto. 
So my trip to your restaurant was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I learned very much. a lot. Thank you Thank you Thank are you. a wonderful Thank chef you. and of course a great businessman. Thank you. So Philadelphia, we're going to discover a fantastic Italian restaurant right here in your beautiful city. So now I'm going. Yeah. Ciao, grazie. Mi baci. And I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, can yes. I have the hat back, please? Oh, I pretended that I didn't notice. Okay, ciao. ciao. <laughs> Prendiamo to the finest Italian restaurant in Philadelphia. Brindiamo shows are also available on DVD. Visit us online, brindiamotv.com, to learn more about the great restaurant featured in this program. Hello from me, Ornella Padon. Welcome to Brindiamo. The only show about Italian restaurants. Remember, what to Brindiamo every Saturday at 10.30 and we TV Channel 25. Do not forget. Ciao.